Should I buy or sell SPY? The report for SPY was first published on our website Tuesday, March 28, 2023, but this is a more detailed version. Subscribe, hit like and notification bell so you will be first to know when we post a new updated video. Since March 14, 2023, our system ranks SPY as a buy candidate, giving it a score of 1.600. In this period the stock has had a gain of 0.99%. This is an average return of 0.09% per day since first recommended. The ETF is moving within a horizontal trend and further movements within this trend can be expected. The current 3-month trend indicates a possible 0.780% change over the next 3 months, with a possible return between minus 1.68% and 6.68%. The 12-month trend it indicates a minus 5.70% change over the next 12 months with a possible return between minus 17.73% and minus 1.25%. This equals a price between $325.48 and $390.67 after a year. In our daily updates for SPY our last headline reads, SPY ETF price ended on $395.60 on Tuesday after losing 0.224%. The SPY ETF price fell by minus 0.224% on the last day, Tuesday, March 28, 2023, from $396.49 to $395.60. During the last trading day the ETF fluctuated 0.711% from a day low at $393.69 to a day high of $396.49. The price has risen in 6 of the last 10 days and is up by 0.99% over the past 2 weeks. Volume fell on the last day along with the ETF, which is actually a good sign as volume should follow the ETF. On the last day, the trading volume fell by minus 11 million shares and in total, 63 million shares were bought and sold for approximately $24.77 billion. In the last 52 weeks, the highest price of the ETF was $462.07, and the lowest price was $348.11. Right now the price is 14.39%, or $66.47, below 52-week high and 17.58%, or $84.38, below all-time high January 4, 2022 where the price hit $479.98. Analyst Ratings and Price Targets The following signals have been found for SPY. A buy signal was issued from a pivot bottom point on Monday, March 13, 2023, and so far it has risen 2.66%. Further rise is indicated until a new top pivot has been found. Furthermore, there is a buy signal from the 3-month Moving Average Convergence Divergence MACD. Some negative signals were issued as well, and these may have some influence on the near short-term development. The SPY ETF holds a buy signal from the short-term Moving Average, at the same time, however, the long-term average holds a general sell signal. Since the long-term average is above the short-term average there is a general sell signal in the ETF giving a more negative forecast for the stock. On further gains, the ETF will meet resistance from the long-term moving average at $399.39. On a fall, the ETF will find some support from the short-term average at $395.11. A breakup through the long-term average will give another buy signal, while a fall below the short-term average will add another sell signal and strengthen the general signal. Volume fell together with the price during the last trading day and this reduces the overall risk as volume should follow the price movements. Here are some other signals you might find interesting. Moving average convergence divergence, by signal. Pivots, by signal 12 days ago. Bollinger, by signal 12 days ago. Short term moving average, by signal 4 days ago. Long term moving average, sell signal 17 days ago. The relation between the short and the long moving averages. By signal 23 days ago. If we look at the 12-month chart we see. Short moving average, by signal 7 days ago. The long-term moving average, by signal 4 days ago. The relation between the short and the long moving averages. By signal 9 days ago. Remember to go to our page at stockinvest.us if you want to find more signals. 
Support, Risk and Stop Loss for SPY SPY finds support from accumulated volume at $389.28 and this level may hold a buying opportunity as an upwards reaction can be expected when the support is being tested. In general the ETF tends to have very controlled movements and with good liquidity the risk is considered very low in this stock. During the last day, the ETF moved $2.80 between high and low, or 0.711%. For the last week the ETF has had daily average volatility of 1.63%. Here are some possible good day trading levels. On an upturn, SPY meets first resistance at $395.75. If you do not hold SPY shares you should wait for this level to be broken before placing your bet. If you already have the stock this is the level you may want to swing trade. On a downturn SPY finds first level of support at $389.28 and this is a natural place to put your bet if the support holds with an expectation of a rebounce upwards. Our recommended stop loss is $373.52, minus 5.58%. This ETF has low daily movements and this gives low risk. There is a buy signal from a pivot bottom found 11 days ago. Is SPY ETF a buy? Several short-term signals are positive and we conclude that the current level may hold a buying opportunity, as there is a fair chance for SPY ETF to perform well in the short-term period. After analyzing the volatility and movements for the last trading day our systems find that the current price is overvalued. For the trading on Wednesday 29th we expect SPY to open down $0.340 and start trading at $395.26. We remind you that trading involves a high risk of losing money, and that you should speak with a financial advisor before buying or selling any securities. You should not base your investment decision upon stockinvest.us. By using the information you agree and are held liable for your own investment decisions. This is our current view of the stock. Do you agree or disagree? Comment below and share your thoughts. What is your target for the ETF? Remember to like and subscribe. We wish you successful trading and have a beautiful day with regards from all of us here at Stock Invest.